Hello friends, now we will be learning about how to create forms in HTML. Now, first of all we must know what is meant by form. An HTML form is a section of a document containing normal content, markup, special elements called controls, that is checkboxes, radio buttons, menus, etc. And labels and those controls user generally complete a form by modifying its controls entering a text selecting a menu items etc before submitting the form to an agent for processing example to a web server or a mail server you can see a simple example of a a form of an application filling for the first puc classes now here is a, a small form these are the labels and this is a there is a student name is there and this is in a text box this is gender is there here in gender we are having options like uh, male and female uh, these uh, round buttons are known as radio buttons and next is combination is there it is a pull is a drop down box where we can have a, a set of options available here for example here i am taking the combination here there may be different combination like pcmcs pcme some uh, CBA like that. Next is the address area. You can see the address area is a width, the height and the width is more. This is known as we will be calling as a text area. And this combination we we can call we can also call it as a combo box. And this uh, we can call this as gender. This male and female. That uh, radio button or option button. Next is we are having hobbies is there. Now there is a square boxes are available now these are known as checkbox where he, he, we can have a here in a hobbies a student a, a person or a student can have a different hobbies he can check all these options of if he is a support if he is a, a interested in these things for example singing he can put a checkbox for reading he can put a checkbox you can have a multiple options can be selected here but whereas in the gender that is the radio button there a user have an option only to select only one option whether it's a male or female now if we, nowadays there are forms are coming up with transgender is there but they are not so popular till now now and this is the finally what we will be calling as a submit and reset button when the user enters the data in the student name and if selecting the gender and he will be selecting the combo list list box that is a selection of options multiple options will be there and next is he is, is after filling these details when he click on submit button the data will be stored in a, a backend server like mysql or sql server or oracle databases when he select the reset button whatever the data he has stored here that will be resetted now first of all we must know these and uh, this text box radio button combo box and drop down box uh, and the text area and check boxes these are all known as form elements and every form has a, a form tag is there Whenever you want to write these form elements should be written in the form tag. The form tag will be open as a form form and the close tag is a slash form. All the elements you are writing, all the elements related to text box and uh, text area, combo box and next is a drop down box, uh, next is uh, we are having radio buttons and check boxes should be written in the, in the form only. Now HTML form contains the form elements, I, I already said these are the uh, in text box is a, a form element or is one of the form element the input element to you want to enter a text names of the persons or addresses uh, like this you want to enter we will use a, a form element number one is input element the input element is the most important form element the input element has many variations depending on the type attribute uh, because the main is input element but it input element can have many variations like suppose when you are coming to text box uh, it will be text uh, when you are coming to radio button it will change to radio if it come to checkbox it will change to uh, checkbox like this we, we will be seeing one by one one after the other now this is the input uh, this is known as input el box input uh, element now you, you see for example i want to enter a, a name of the student he as we entered here we are written here when you write a code like this that it will display like this uh, we will see at the end we will copy this uh, all the information and we will put it into the notepad and we will generate a html page uh, now time being just uh, i am saying the student name i want to enter it so 
So I want to enter the student name is I am taking the example of input type is equal to text defines one line input field for text input. Now example input type is equal to text the name is equal to student name and whatever the suppose father name is their father name uh, or employee name is there you can write employee name like this you can write this is the way how to write the text that is i will repeat once again input type is equal to text name is equal to student name next is we are having a radio button already i said no option box or radio option button or radio button now i want to have a gender that is male or female now here input type is equal to radio defines a radio button uh, previously when you are putting as a text we have defined as a text when you are it writing a uh, writing a radio bu radio button we are option button we are putting a radio that's why the input already we said discussed about input type has a many variations now first variation we see it as a text box now second variation we have seen as a radio button now radio button has let's say user select one of a limited number of choices because i already said that in radio button we have to select only either one option we cannot select all the options now for example here there is a input type is equal to radio name gender value is equal to male if the person if the, if the user is a male he will check that uh, he will select that radio button as a male if the user is a female uh, she will be selecting as a female and next is we are having a check boxes check boxes uh, let's say user select zero or more options of a limited number of choices there may be certain choices will be there he may select all the choices or he may select the um, any one choice from the uh, following check boxes from the list another for example here i am taking as input type is equal to check box that is hobby value is equal to singing and uh, next is input type is equal to check box hobby value is equal to reading now this will be displayed uh, now this this particular portion is showing as like this it will show as a reading here for example the singing reading and all those things are coming up now when the user sing when the user clicks here it will go for a singing when the user click here when it will go for a reading it will be stored in the database next is and next is a drawing and as well as sports is there next is there i already spoken that there is a drop down list will be there there are certain lists will be there i showed you that i want to have a different combinations will be there the different combinations like uh, i am having uh, three combinations i have written here select uh, for this we are having a syntax select uh, uh, name combination option value is equal to pcmcs that is PC, this will be visible to the this will be visible to the user pcme and ceba and uh, and we can write any number of options present in this uh, selector uh, for every select you, there should be a slash select you might have seen that uh, in the in the real life forms we will be having a countries states and as well as we can have a date of birth and all those things we can use this option uh, we can use this uh, com drop down list or combo box next is we are having a text area i want to put a uh, address the address may be uh, not even five it may be in 10 lines or it may be 20 lines uh, i cannot use the 10 text boxes for the purpose of address what i will do is i use a text area the text area element uh, is used to define a multiple line of text that is we instead of using a single um, input input of uh, input box i can use a multiple line that is known as a text area now for example here i wrote a as a example text area rows is equal to 10 columns is good 30 name is equal to address that is whenever we are having a text area open and we have to close the text area with slash text area now in this case there is 10 columns means the total um, uh, text box size will be the the rows will be 10 rows and the columns will be 30 columns thus means the it the text box will be bigger size next is finally when we wrote all these things we are having a uh, submit box submit button is there now whenever you enter the data into the into in, into the form whenever after clicking on the submit button only the data will be stored in a, some of the uh, stored in a back end uh, i already spoken about back end uh, we can write a back end programs like php and um, S, um, my, um, dot net technologies we can use it but now for us the uh, syllabus for our syllabus we had to talk only about uh, the form how to design a form and what are the form elements and those things only we, we are discussing now because that portion is not available uh, is not uh, uh, helpful for us and also is not required at the time being now 
I am saying this is a now I want to submit now the input type is equal to submit defines a button for submitting a form to the form handler next is the form handler is typically a server page with a script for processing the input data I said now there is a server page a document is nothing but PHP a dot net technology uh, etc now here the form handler specified in the form section from action attribute uh, there is at the at the form action um, we will be writing that same line in the HTML page but time being we will not be writing that why because that uh, when the user clicks there will there is no backend is the created and there is no database will also be not there that's why we are omitting that particular line next is input type is equal to button value is equal to submit this will be shown on the screen this is a button when the user clicks the submit button there is some action will go will go and will be stored in the uh, database next is input type va button value is equal to reset now uh, when the user enters all the data and uh, he don't want uh, to be submitted just he can click on the reset button what will happen under the data will 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 be uh, cl uh, will be cleared from the text boxes or respect to text boxes option boxes etc now listeners uh, we have seen about uh, different types of uh, input boxes like uh, input uh, text box input checkbox input radio button input type uh, next is um, text area and we also discussed about uh, um, next is hobby uh, checkboxes and we also discussed about uh, text area and uh, next is uh, there is option uh, values that is selection uh, option selection option multiple options we have see now i'll open a uh, notepad file now we are creating a form like uh, rajaram pu college and uh, this is the what in the in the table section or html program we have discussed about every html page should have a html tag and the head tag and title tag and this title tag whatever we write that will be displayed in the address bar of the browser next is h1 is nothing but there are different types of headings will be there h1 to h6 now h1 align is equal to center rajaram pu college uh, will be there h4 align center first puc application form next is and i said no there is a form element is there whenever we want to write all the form form elements we have to place in the form this is the form i already put it this is the form i already put it and uh, next is when we want to close the form there is a closing of the form is there you see you can see this closing of the form and next is i am putting i am writing all these things in the table already we discussed the table in the previous class very clearly about table rows and table data and table headings and all those things now what i want to do is i am putting a i am i define a form i open a form in that form i am writing a table why because alignment should be proper when we do a form elements it should appear neatly that's why we are putting as a form but uh, these whatever the forms we are discussing is a is a world based uh, that is html uh, older versions now there is a bootstrap forms are available very you might have seen in the uh, browsers you might have seen in the web pages uh, they are different technologies there but according to our syllabus we are not supposed uh, we don't have that much uh, uh, that much information needed to learn just we are only learning basic forms uh, next is here i said uh, table is a table tag align center border is equal to two bg color this is background color is orange the table we are writing the table we are taking as a table align the table will be aligned to center border will be size will be two and bg color background color of the table is orange color whatever the color you want you can put it now we have uh, we have opened a uh, table row and next is i wrote a td student name and i have written the form element that is form element is input type is equal to text name is equal to student name i close the td and i close the first row next is second row i am writing tr gender i am putting input type is equal to radio because it is an optional name is equal to gender value is equal to male next line i want to write input type is equal to radio name is equal to gender value is equal to female this when i am writing this slash indicates it will print it in the same line now second row we have close second row second row we have a second uh, uh, data we are close table data we close and second row we close now once again i opened a third row that is tr and i selected the combination and uh, select a name combination option value equal to pcmcs and pcmcs option value equal to pcme 
CBA etc. And I, I open with the select tag and I close with the select tags with slash. Next I close that with this this thing that row with the table uh, slash row and data with the slash td. Next is I have selected the table row that is td address text area row is equal to 10 columns is 30 name is equal to address the name whatever we are right will type the address as uh, address contents next is we have closed this and next is i said i have taken as a hobbies it is a check boxes uh, different hobbies are available we can any number of hobbies we can write the user can select all the options are either you can select any single or uh, double or multiple options you can choose with the help of this text box Next is I already discussed about and we have closed this uh, uh, td slash td and tr. Next t, uh, tr we are closed and we have last line we are writing a submit button. Now here tr td table data align set, center column span. Here merging of the columns are known as column span. Merging of the rows is known as a row span. Now in the sing, we, when we are having two columns in the previous key in the top we are having two, two columns are the first column we are putting as a a student name second column is a text box second uh, next row, second row we are putting as a um, uh, option button that is uh, gender in the say in the in the second column we are putting as a we are placing as a option radio buttons like male and female next third we are using as a option box that is first row will be the combination next column will be selected as these options like different combination next we are did the uh, fourth row we have selected the hobbies and we have taken the different things that is uh, uh, we have taken the different uh, things that is uh, uh, hobbies like reading drawing etc and next is uh, we have taken uh, next is we have taken as a this uh, uh, hobbies we have did and the text area we have taken next is we are having option called uh, radio button uh, we have seen that next finally we have to go for a submit i want to put it these two submit and reset in the same row and uh, they should not be separate column that's why we merged uh, two columns into single column that is called column span now we have written this particular program here now i will save this program as an html page and i'll run this in browser with this we can complete our session save as i'll select as a save as and next is i'll select it as all files next i'll select as a apply I can write apply dot uh, apply dot html and I put apply dot html uh, and uh, I'll store it on the desktop save save I'll say now it will be stored on the desktop we'll see we'll minimize this uh, there is an apply is there now I'll run this file automatically it'll open the browser now this is a, a second PUC a lab program using a application form it's a very simple and easy to learn only thing is you have to if you learn input uh, box you will able to know input text uh, you can write radio button and all those things you can write and here i said now suppose i'm typing as a uh, rama rama rao i'll write i'll select as a gender I'll, I'll, this is a drop down box I, suppose a student wants to join a ceba you can join if a student wants a PCMC, he will join and this is an address bar this is a Bangalore you can type Bangalore number 54 number 54 second stage second cross second stage second cross so so Ramnagar Ramanagar Bangalore. Suppose this is a text box, this text area box where we can type uh, those many rows and columns. And next is the user can select sing, singing, uh, reading, drawing, and he, he has to click a submit button. When the user clicks submit button, the data will be uh, stored in a whatever the data is entered in the form will be stored in a uh, in a database that is a backend. Now we need not require all those things. This is a form. It is very helpful for this second PUC lab exam. Um, uh, thanks for watching this video. Please share, please share this uh, video to your friends and friend circle so that they will also be get benefited. Thanks once again for watching this video. So, uh, please subscribe to this channel, Vibuda e-learning. Thank you once again.